Okay, Becky, let me show you what's going on here. First off, if you had looked into the custom CSS, which would be under settings inside, uh, so in the top top left-hand corner up on your page, underneath settings, if you go in there, you look at the custom CSS, you would have seen all of this code over here. And I, I know you said you got this as a template. I don't know if you got this as Funnel Fridays, but this is one of the reasons why I tell people to never use templates because you don't know what's inside of there. So this is all the CSS and it just keeps going here in this darkened out area. So that's all the custom CSS that somebody put in here to make this thing look the way they wanted. And in particular, this line right here, uh, temp image 98644 and the position of absolute and everything else. So in my content, in my comment, when I said it was because of absolute positioning, that's exactly what it was. So if we come over here and we right click on the image and we're going to click on inspect we're going to come to the image here itself, and then we're going to go to the wrapper. Now, normally with most everything inside of ClickFunnels, there is like the image, and then there's a wrapper around the image. There's a text, and then there's a wrapper around the text. And then, and, and you got to think of anything on the internet, on HTML, especially like this, where it's just basically boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes. And so you have to look at where it is relative to the other boxes around it. And in this case here, they use position absolute. Now position absolute means we want to put that absolutely fixed within a given element. So in this case here, it's going to be absolutely positioned, would be a better way to say it, it's gonna be absolutely positioned within the element that it is inside of. And in this case here, what is inside of is this column. So you can see here, we have it inside of this column now sticking out a little bit on the right hand side. And I'll show you why that is in a minute. But they're saying here to absolutely position this image wrapper box inside of this column. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the CSS and we're going to start turning things off. So the first thing you're going to see is we're going to turn off this position absolute, which is going to drop it down to the bottom down here. Now I'm suspecting that this, this uh, next section here has negative top margin. Let me just inspect that real quick. And we'll see here, um, adding top, because something's making it come up over the top of this other image here. But whatever, we're not, uh, we're not looking at that today. So let's just uh, go back here, click on inspector. Let's take a look here. So we have, it is position of absolute. Once you turn that off, it's gonna default back to position relative which means just go where you were built, hang out where you're supposed to be. But by using position absolute or position fixed, you can take it and move it somewhere else on the screen. Fixed would make it fixed in a specific location on the screen, no matter what it was built inside of. Position absolute will make it fixed within the next larger element that is built inside of. So I said everything's boxes within boxes. So in this case here, it's going to find the next box that it's sitting inside of, and it's going to position it relative to that box. And I know I'm kind of mixing my words here with fixed and relative and everything, but it's hard to explain this without using the words that describe it. Um, but either way, so here we go. So we got position absolute. So now let's put that back up into its place. So it's being positioned within that column. And then we can say right minus six, which says, come up to the edge of the column on the right hand side and then move it further right by six pixels. So if we turn this off, you're gonna see it actually now is gonna default back to left. See, if you don't have right set, it'll automatically make it left. So in this case here, it's gonna flip it all the way back to the left side. But let's say here, instead of minus six, let's just, uh, we can just hit the up arrow and we'll just start making that a positive number and you're gonna see it's gonna move back to the left-hand side because we're saying now move it 67 pixels from the right-hand side. So it's pushing it away from that right-hand edge by 67 pixels. And of course, if we go down and we go into negative numbers, it will go outside that right-hand edge by now we're at 33 pixels. So you can move it right and left depending on that. And again, you can, instead of using right here, you could use left as well. So we can put in here, we can put in the word left. 
And so now we're going to be 26 pixels off of that left edge. And as I bring this up, you're going to see it's going to move to the right. Now, of course, we have the exact same thing on the next line where we have top and we could also have bottom here. So here we're saying come down from the top of the column by 40 pixels. And if we turn this off, it's going to drop it all the way down to the bottom. So if we turn this back on, we again, we can say, okay, well, let's make that more than 40 pixels, or we can make it less than 40 pixels, and we'll bring it right up to the very top. And let's just make that top zero, and let's make this right of zero. Oops, something went wrong there. Okay, let me turn off the left. Okay, there we go. So now, if we come up, it should show that it should be right inside of that column, except that we had, where to go here? No, left, right. Where's it? Here, here. Okay, so here's, here's the column up here. I was pointing down here before. I should have been pointing up here. So here's the column. So it is at the top of the column and on the right-hand side. And I suspect this column, there must be some sort of padding or something at the top somewhere in here that's pushing that down. Yeah, here's some padding. Let's take that out. And then either way, it's, it's close to that. Um, there's something else that's causing this to be down a little bit, but that's not the important part here. The important part was how did this get up there? And that's exactly what it is. It's just absolute positioning saying, grab this image that we created down below it. So you create these by stacking them on top of each other. And then you just say, okay, within this column, where do I want this? So grab it, move it up there, boom, you're done. And you saw that it's like you know a couple lines of code. So that's it, very long explanation. Uh, hopefully you understood what I was talking about. Have a great day.